is Everton from Cars Car Repair again then. Uh, nice to see you again guys. What I'm gonna do today, we've got here Volkswagen Polo and what we've got, the customer ring us because it failed on MOT with a headlight problem. And she, when she phoned us, what she did ask me straight away to quote her for a headlight. And while I was talking to my receptionist and my receptionist talking to me, I said, oh, ask her to pop in because I would like to see it first. But she said, oh, the other guard, they said I should go straight for the headlight. And if you don't mind to quote me a headlight, I said, okay, we're gonna quote you a headlight, but if, a headlight, but if you don't mind to pop in, pop in, let us have a look. Because the headlight on them is quite expensive on these polos. And I said, just pop in then. And this is our customer then. She just pop in then, and she came for me to see it. And while she get here, I said, oh, what I'm gonna do? Let me just spend, let's say, a few hours here if we need, cause as you can see, I had to take the bumper off here. But let me spend some time on your car and see if I can repair it without making you spend on a headlight. And that's what we did here. And I took the headlight off. I couldn't fix it here because it was loose connection here. And yeah, it's a quite big job. I had to get the bumper off. And also I'm gonna do the same thing on this side for her. But one thing funny is, while I was working it, I noticed that the boob there was a little bit out of place. There's a boob there, the other boob. The car failed on emoji on this boob, but this is the deep beam boob, and it was out of place. And when I took the hot light off, I could hear some, something, let's say something moving here, rattling noise here. And when I come to have a look, I show the customers what I found on here. Someone tried to glue the connector here before. I don't know where she been, or I don't know if it was a guard who did it, or if it was the previous owner of the car did it. They just glued the headlight in place. As you can see, this is like a bond. Let me split it for you. This is what I found on, on a headlight boob. And also the noise I could hear inside the headlight was just the clip. What's happening is someone come to change the headlight boob and what they did, they dropped the clip inside because they didn't want to get the bumper off and the headlight off. What they did, they just like put like a bond on it. Don't know, I don't know how, how they, 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 they fall about it. But yeah, this is the customer then. And are you happy then? You don't need to replace the headlight. Are you happy with our job? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Do you think then, did it work for you to come down here and let us look first before we sell you a headlight and make you spend yeah. more money? Yeah, it's going to be a lot cheaper. <laughs> it's a lot yeah. cheaper, do you think? Yeah. As I said, of course, I'm going to need to charge you for what I done here. But yeah, you don't need to change the headlight then. And it's a pleasure to work for you. It's your first time here at the garage? Yeah, yeah. Do you think that it's worth to come back here then? Yeah. <laughs> That's fine then. Yeah, as you can see, one more customer help with us. And this is Corey's Car Repair in Rugby. I hope God bless you guys. And if you've got issue like that, or any other issue on your car, just pop in, give us a call. We're gonna book you in and we're gonna have a look and do the same thing we did for her. We're gonna do it for any customer that come here. We, we always treat our customers same with respect and always try to be honest with them and try to save most as we can, but of course keep our high quality of work then. God bless you, bye-bye.